Globally, an estimated 2,000 children under the age of five die every day from diarrheal diseases. Some 1,800 of these are linked to water, sanitation, and hygiene. 748 million people have no safe water. 10% of the world population live without access to safe water. More than 500,000 children die every year due to water-related diseases. That's over 1,400 children a day. The figures are mind-numbing. To do something about these grave consequences as a result of lack of easy access to safe drinking water, Carl, Yannicka, and Nils, three young entrepreneurs, decided to team up and found Contribute Water, a charity organization dedicated to helping people get access to clean water and proper sanitation in Africa. Contribute Water sells water bottles, where for every bottle being purchased, part of the revenue goes to charity. For many people in the world today, this is a rare luxury. So, I mean, today, more than 800 million people live without access to clean drinking water. Every 20 seconds, a child dies because of poor sanitation. So we, uh, myself and my partners, Yannicka and Nils, we said, can we do something about this? And we said, yeah, we can. And we came up with the concept of, of contribute water. And the idea is very simple. Basically, for every bottle that we sell, parts of the revenue will go to charity. So what we're trying to create is basically uh, using the market powers to connect commercial aspects with charity aspects and in that way raise money for less fortunate people. We did some market research and we found out that Malta is actually the perfect market for contribute water. Uh, the reasons for it is, for example, 65% of the Maltese population drink bottled water and Malta is a small geographical area with a big heart and people are very helpful and Maltese people, as a matter of fact, is amongst the most charitable people in the world. So that was typically in line with our business. So we're still competing with the, with the big players, but having the advantage of being a, a charity water uh, gives us, uh, it gives us the advantage of, of trying something new by buying contribute water they're actually doing something good whilst they're quenching their thirst so we, we really believe in this concept and it, it's, it's very it's very rewarding to be a social entrepreneur we're not all in it for for the money we wanted a high quality water uh, then we had initial I wouldn't say issues, but we had some problems with, with, you know, there are a lot of rules and regulations and we had to get certificates, but we managed to overcome those. How long did it take you to actually get the product out in the market? Uh, I would say around a month and a month a month and a half. The water is bottled in uh, Bulgaria, so uh, we, uh, we, we kind of searched for a supplier within the EU that could supply us with really, really good water because th that's, that's important for us. We're three people in the company, so we are all three working with marketing, logistics, everything. We're trying to be out there, we're sponsoring uh, different events, we're working a lot with social media, and uh, I mean, it's, it started to pick up to a point where people are actually asking about our water. Uh, have you seen anything more tangible coming out of the whole concept? Well, today we are uh, we, ha we sell the water in uh, more than 40 outlets today. Everything from uh, supermarkets to convenience stores to bars, restaurants, hotels. Distributing with Yannicka's own car and keeping their costs to the absolute minimum, only after six months of their work, Contribute Water has seen outstanding results. Thanks to their collaboration with Pump Aid, one of the largest organizations dedicated to raising money for building pumps across highly needed areas, Contribute Water has already seen new pumps being set up in Africa. How do you see uh, that the money goes really to help those in need of clean water? We are uh, working with a company or an organization uh, called Pump Aid in the UK. They have been around since 1998 and helped more than one million people to get access to clean drinking water. And the reason why we chose to work with them was because they are experts in the field and that was really important to us to know that the money is actually going to where it's intended to go. They send us uh, updates monthly so we know what what the money that we donate is actually doing. 
What made you want to set this up? Well, uh, we all think that you can start a business. It's very exciting, right? But being a social entrepreneur is, is something else. You're doing s more than actually just running a business. To be honest, we are, we are not a charity. Uh, we are trying to, to, to make money, but at the same time, it, it doesn't just go down to our pocket because we are giving a lot to charity from, from our revenue. Uh, and and that is, as I said before, very rewarding. What you want? What you want? What you want? What you want?